And example two will be when the standard deviation is unknown. So uh, again, the first step is determine whether it's the mean or the pop proportion you're testing, and here it's clearly the mean. Um, then to try to translate that uh, claim into the alternative hypothesis. You see here we have uh, statistics students with an average score of 65, and an instructor thinks that the mean score is um, higher than that. So the students think that the average is 65, and the instructor thinks that it's higher than that. So the instructor's claim would be, because he's the one doing the test, right, that the mean test score is greater than 65. And the students think that the mean score is 65. So it's kind of their claim is the null hypothesis. This results in a right-tailed test. It is not a normal distribution that will follow, it is the t distribution since we don't know sigma. Level of significance is the same, but you would put that in. Um, we will have a sample standard deviation and that would then be not sigma but s. and a sample mean and a sample size. Um, so there are some scores given here and we'll put that data in there and, and calculate these things in a minute. So let's, uh, let's do that. So now we're working with a t-test because we know we're using the t-distribution. So go to stat and test and go down to t-test. We actually have the data so we do need to put that in first. So really go stat, edit, and we'll put in those scores. We have a 65, 65, 70, 67, 66, 63, 63, 68, 72, and 71. So the test scores are in. Now stat, tests, t-test. And we want to select data, because we have the data in there. And then the uh, number in the hypothesis is 65. And the data is in L1. And the alternative hypothesis is this one on the right with the greater than symbol. And we can calculate the p-value along with the sample statistics. So it tells us that s is... 3.2 about, right, 3.2. And the sample mean is 67. And the sample size is 10. And the p-value is 0 0.0396. And we can get that graph again. And you can hand draw this sketch or uh, get a photo of it. So there's the new picture. And in this problem, we will again reject. The p-value is still less than alpha, so we reject the null hypothesis. And so the sample data does support the claim again. Um, hopefully we'll see the other situation. But in case it doesn't, right, when p is greater than alpha, then we fail to reject the null. And you say the sample data does not support the alternative. Um, so what is the claim in this case? The claim that... Uh,
the mean test score was greater than 65 or higher than 65 is what it says there but this works fine all right and that's a finished hypothesis test showed us using data and using the t distribution so the only thing we need to see still is